Back now on a Sunday morning as we continue our special series, Looking Back, Moving Forward. When you think of Black History Month, you probably think of people in the history books like Dr. Martin Luther King or Rosa Parks. Yeah, but sometimes it's the people you may not have heard of in smaller towns who are living history, as Chanel found out. Yes, yeah, sometimes the trailblazers are in your bloodline. These people behind me here, if you see these on the monitor, these are people in my family tree. This week, I talked with my oldest living relatives, my grandparents, more specifically, my 90 two-year-old grandfather, Dr. Val Brown Sr., who for 45 years practiced medicine in my hometown of Wichita, Kansas. For decades, he was just one of a few African-American doctors in the city. It was 1949. Truman was president. The first Emmy Awards were held. World heavyweight boxing champ Joe Lewis retired. And in Wichita, Kansas, my grandfather opened his first medical practice. When I would go to the office, they'd be crammed full, and they would have to sit on the stoop outside. My grandfather was one of the few African-American physicians in town, and in those days, African-Americans weren't readily admitted into hospitals, so he did it all. Everybody managed their own patients, you know? Dad even did tonsillectomies, some minor surgery. He delivered babies. They'd call him on Saturday or Sunday, and he'd sit down on the bed and talk to them, hold their little hand, pat them for maybe an hour, whatever it took to calm them. At one time, blacks were not allowed to go to the hospital for extraction. We would pull teeth, full mouth extractions at home. I would give the general anesthesia. Do you remember when things started to change? It was kind of gradual. I would talk to another doctor about something else, and he said, you know, colored folks can go to such and such a hospital now. And that's the way you found out about it. There was never some big announcement, like this is oh, what we're no, going to no, do. No, 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 no. Because once you announce it, then you admit it was the way before. <laughs> What makes my grandfather's story so unique is not just that he was one of the only black doctors in town or that his son later followed in his footsteps, but that they traced the path of this man, Dr. Grant Gratz Brown, born in 1872. He was a county coroner, physician, and my grandfather's father. He died when my grandfather was a toddler. He was fantastically bright. He spoke f fluent Spanish. So he had a large Spanish uh, practice. There was an article uh, at his death that uh, 1,500 people attended. It also mentioned that there were 50 white folks. So that obviously bespoke a lot for people to come into that neighborhood. The most interesting thing was after he died, he had a notebook, a diary. I could follow his days at school by things he wrote in the diary about problems that he had in class. Somebody told me that when you were growing up, they called you Little Doc. <laughs> they were going to be sure that I was a physician so I wouldn't spread out and become something else. Over the course of my grandfather's career, he cared for 8,000 patients. They called him a gentle giant. We can go to Walmart or someplace and somebody will grab him and hug him. Oh, my doctor, you delivered me. Do you ever sit back and think, my father was a doctor, I'm a doctor, one of my sons is a doctor? I never felt it was a trailblazer. Maybe other people did. Yeah, just a trail, that's all. A trail that I enjoy. If I had to come up with a takeaway for this segment, it's to remind us to talk to your loved ones and share stories. In addition to my great grandfather's diary from 1899, he wrote that while he was in medical school at Howard, by the way. Um, I found this postcard of all of the babies that my great grandfather delivered in one year. Wow. Look at this. And then I found this. This is a prescription he wrote for one of his patients, my great grandfather. So this was the late 1800s, early 1900s. And on here it says cayenne pepper. <laughs> so it's almost like you had to use real ingredients. Um, but it's just been, it was an amazing experience mm. to talk to my family. And that's just, you know, my grandfather's side. My grandmother wrote our family history for all the grandkids. That is wow. such um, so it's just one of those things story. where if you're watching, call your grandparents, mm. call your parents, talk, talk to each other, have the conversation. I love that so story, true. I really did. And bring cameras no, if you're you. There you go. <laughs> bring a whole crew. Thanks for sharing that story Absolutely. with us, Chanel. That was great.